guys what's up welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title i'm giving you guys like an updated moving um video i'm showing you guys how i organize and pack out all the stuff for the kitchen in this video and in the other video that you're going to see next maybe not next but after this one is um the closet video so um i have those two filmed and ready to go and so if you guys like these videos give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think um so yeah let's get right into this vlog shall we so this is me literally just wake up and i'm about to um start on the kitchen because i want to start on the kitchen first place um because the food is the heart of this home <laughs> so I definitely really wanted to start with the kitchen so I had started a little bit of something yesterday super tired guys I was so tired yesterday because I was at this moving maybe for about two days as in I started packing up the stuff and all of those things so it was a lot of work it was so much work so um i didn't want to go to bed too early because if i went to bed too early i would wake up very early so i kind of forced myself to stay up until around 9 9 p.m last night and then i went to bed um and then i woke up at what 4 30 i think i woke up at like one o'clock and i couldn't go back to sleep and i had to like ugh, force myself to fall asleep then eventually i fell asleep and um woke up at i think it's now 5 30 a.m it's really bright outside right now um but yeah i had started on the spice section i'm still trying to decide what to put where so that's something but this is what the kitchen looks like basically like so much stuff all over the place um i'm about to cook some peas because i think i'm gonna do um some pigtail stew peas and pigtail for dinner today um but this is what the whole entire kitchen looks like so i need to put away all of these things um <clears throat> and clear up the kitchen so you know we can look at least partly decent here and don't get me started on the living room area like it's a hot hot mess but i try not to stress myself out trying to pack away everything oh and i have some glass and stuff over here i really just trying to you know just take my time and do my thing so yeah i thought it would be a good idea to vlog and show you guys as much as i'm looking really puffy right now oh so this is what i've done so far this is the spice section and it's close to the stove so i decided to put it here so i can just reach for it and you know um i have all my seasoning up there i think eventually i'm gonna get like containers for these yeah and then i have my my lazy susan with my other seasonings and i have like my spray and oil and you know balsamic vinegar stuff like you know stuff like these here and i have my sweeteners upstairs there it's up there is tall so i feel like i need to stand on my step stool to get up there but yeah i kind of going ahead and figuring it out um as i go along Usually add the plates to this section here. I don't even have enough of the same plates to <laughs> to fill it all out. Um, but is this how they normally do it? Because I'm mean, I don't know. I don't know at all. So I think over here this is where I'm going to put like all my protein stuff. I feel like this is a good shelf to put all my protein powders and so on. So I think I have them over here in this box. And it's a lot of them. I don't know if everything can hold in there, but we're going to see. So, these are the protein um, that I've been drinking from the other day. These are like water. You just throw them in water and drink. And you get your protein. It's 20 grams of protein. I really love these. I 
think it fit perfectly. So yeah, now I have a space to put all my protein supplements and stuff. Which is awesome because if you had watched my videos before, you'd have seen that I had them on the counter and I want to not have anything on the counter as best as possible, as much as possible. Like I'm trying to have a clean, clear counter space. So I try to make everything fit in a cupboard. Except my microwave. My microwave literally can't hold in the cupboard up here. So. so I think I'm going to have to leave it on the counter, which I really didn't want to do, but it is what it is, yeah, guys. so fiery um i'm actually using this cupboard up there at the top to pack like my um glass bowls and my baking dish and them stuff there like the glass stuff i realized that i really really i realized that i really really want to get rid of all plastic like plastic stuff even like my food containers and stuff i want to get rid of them so i think i'm going to be changing out some of them this week and as i go along then i buy more like glass um stuff because i really want to get rid of plastic yeah i think i really want to get rid of plastic so i have a whole bunch of plastic stuff in those boxes where um i'm definitely gonna buy some stuff this week at bashko to carry my food and then stuff the in for food storage and stuff on the fridge definitely going to do that so um i'm on my way i think i've made a lot of progress because i already packed the um the cups out already, the glass, the wine glass, the plates, and so on. So we're making progress, you guys. We're making progress. So I think I'm going to move on to the pantry here too. I'm going to pick up some stuff at the supermarket yesterday. Um, I have boxes everywhere, and this is the pantry where I'm going to be stocking everything. I think it's enough space. I have like one, two, three, four, five shelves where I can stock um food in just one area and i don't necessarily have to be all over the place looking for stuff as opposed to the last apartment we had to be i had to be all over the place looking for stuff i had to be packing stuff up the top there looking for it it's so annoying so i'm really happy that i have enough uh, cupboard and i have enough countertops and i have enough space um to put all my stuff and the idea of the pantry is to have everything that we mostly use very often in the line of sight so one of the things that we used to where well, we normally use a lot is like tin food so i want that in the line of sight and then the other stuff that we don't use as much then on the other shelves so i'm gonna pack the tin food i think here right here and then i'm going to pack like um the oats and the rice and those things on the shelf i think and then up there i don't know whatever else and then down there is the same so yeah we just um got some mint on the premises <laughs> i really love this mint this is the mint that they normally use for like mojito i'm trying to catch a plant you guys i soon show you what my plant looks like i cannot catch a good plant of it for the life of me um i soon show you how the plant that i was trying to catch looked really ugly i was trying to do it in a pot i was trying to do it in a pot but i don't think it will work or uh, maybe i don't know maybe i need more i need like like a couple of them more than just one little stalk and plant it maybe i need to cut a lot so i'm going to try it again i'm definitely going to try it again and see if it works out but i love having um the sweet mint i love so having i'm it. going to show you the packing arrangements for the pantry for right now um but eventually i'm going to get some organizational shelf they have some shelf that you can stock like the you can stack like the, the tin food and so on it like layers definitely going to get that and i think i'm probably when i do those things when I, I do a bunch of order for the home on amazon i'm going to do a haul and show you guys all the stuff that i got um for the home so i definitely going to get some of that and i think i'm also gonna get like the tea organizer for the drawer so i've been thinking about doing like a tea organizer for the drawer i don't know if bashko might have something that 
I can probably use but I don't know yet but most likely I'm going to find it for Amazon and God. hopefully I can measure up the drawer and stuff to see the exact measurement but I think I want to get a tea organizer where we can pack all our ginger tea or our peppermint tea and them stuff there yeah I have a vision in my head but I hope that my pocket can reach up my vision <laughs> alright so I'm going to pack up all of these tin food So far, I have those containers up there with oats, flour, cornmeal and stuff and then I have all of the tin food here and um, I guess as I add more tin food then yeah and down here I have the snack section where we have our bread, coconut milk, snacks and stuff and then down here now I have like the cooking stuff I guess quinoa, cornstarch, lasco, um, noodles and then stuff there and probably other stuff that I haven't used yet like additional oats and so and nothing is done there yet but as I go along I'll figure things out, I'll add things, I'll arrange things differently, I'll get more storage containers um, so I can actually get rid of the bags and stuff so you guys have to stay tuned to my channel to see like future updates and stuff so I wanted to show you guys I don't know if you had watched if you had watched my um my what's that video again the one about the closet the transformation of the mini closet a tiny closet then you would have seen me talk about these lights and these lights to be specific um, they're very automatic so you turn them on and it's magnetic you can stick this section here on anywhere that you want to bring light to so because the pantry is dark you guys can see behind me and it's really dark so I decided to um, now that I have light in my closet now I decided to use these to bring light to the pantry so every time we open the door once it is fully charged we should be able to get light so it's dark in there and i'm going to stick this um to the roof turn it on can you see how lit it is now so we'll be able to see everything that's in the um, cupboard, which is perfect. Here's another one. Turn this on. And stick it right in the center. So, when the battery is dead and I'm ready to change it, then all I need to do is just peel it off and put it on charge and then put it back in there. So, these are very, very good to have in the house. Um, actually want to get the yellow I really want to get these again but in the with the yellow lights I want to put them underneath the cupboard section as well so that we can get some yellow lights underneath the cupboard and you guys are going to see um, as soon as I order them you guys are going to see what I'm talking about so yeah definitely something to add to your cupboard So now we have light in all three sections. Um, these are the most important section. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is um, the kitchen drawers. Now the kitchen drawers, they have, they don't have any lining in there, and I definitely don't want to just put these utensils in there just like that. So um, I bought this. Some time ago at Rapid, um, it has this wood material. I had used it at the last apartment that I was at, and so I'm going to use it and line the drawers so that they look way more organized and look more cute than how it is right now. So I think, yeah, that's what, what I'm gonna do. And we have four drawers to line, so I'm going to show you guys when I am lining them. 
so you can see what I do. This is the final look of the kitchen. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this kitchen. I've been in here for almost a month and it brings me so much joy because we have so much space. Um, I love this is the area right here that we can put some of the decor stuff. I feel like over time I'm probably going to change all of that and of course I don't have any wine right now. All the wines that I have is in the fridge and i have this container here that i'm probably gonna put rice in it's empty at the moment and um we have like i decided on putting all of the pots under here um and putting lids on them all the pot, pots that has lids um i decided on that under this cupboard i decided to put a garbage bin one of the step on ones under here we're gonna store like our like water bottles and stuff and under here I decided to go with like my blender all of those things that I don't want to put on the counter I'm gonna put right here in the drawers I have like my knives and all of those things in here please ignore this inside of the drawers because I still haven't gotten um, any of the organizational stuff yet so as I get the stuff them and update them then i'm gonna show you guys what i got and under here now i decided to put like my food containers so i threw out a whole bunch of them from under here um like i was saying i will replace them with like glass tupperware and of course this is where i put the microwave because i have nowhere else to put it so it stays on the countertop and then of course i showed you guys where the fridge would be and this is where the pantry is and i have everything in there already over here i have the dining table so i have one and two little things to finish where the dining table area is concerned like i want to put the big clock i had in the other apartment here on the wall and i still have this little section over here to decorate so um like i said as i go along i'm going to show you guys what's going on so this is basically the kitchen for now um absolutely love that i don't have a lot of stuff on the counter and if you got this far in the video then you will see me talk about the mint i'm trying to catch the mint as we speak so i'm really really grateful um that god has blessed us with this space here ends this vlog thank you for watching until next time i'll catch you in the next video Look out for, I think, the closet video next. Yeah.